Hello everyone and welcome back to Aqua Place Pixelmon. Alright, so in the last episode, I asked you to nickname Pikachu, but we will not be doing that yet because I haven't seen your comments yet. <laughs> so, yeah. I will, at the start of the next episode, I will update Pikachu's nickname and inform you on what evolution we will be evolving Aqua into, so, yeah. Get ready for that, those will be in episode 5, but for today, I want to explore this plains biome, see if there's anything out here we can catch, and try to just keep leveling up all of our Pokemon and get ready for the Brock Gym Leader battle. So there's a Drifloon up there, that might be a good Pokemon to have early on. I think they're Ghost Flying. Ugh, this Meowth wants to fight us. This might not be good. I'm gonna try to growl. Ugh. Things are not going very easy on us. I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Alright, it's paralyzed. That might help. Now Thunder Shock. Quick Attack? I think Quick Attack does a little more. He just used Growl though. I should have used Thunder Shock there. Wow, his paralysis isn't doing anything to him. Well, good for you, Meowth. I'm gonna see if uh, Sheldon can get in here and get some experience. Yeah, he got paralyzed that time. Now if we can just finish him with a tackle. That's good experience. 11, 12, Electro Ball, nice. The user hurls an electric orb at the target. The faster the user is than the target, the greater the damage. Uh, that's probably better than Thunder Shock, I would guess. I'll just get rid of Tail Whip though, just in case. All right, and here's a Voltorb now. <laughs> Well, uh, let's see if Pikachu can run away. We are not going to kill this thing. Alright, nice. I doubt Sheldon can run away. Alright, well, there we go. <laughs> All of our Pokemon are dead already. Fortunately, we have a Pokemon Center right here. What level are you? 25. Um, we're getting kind of closer to being able to fight those people. Drowsy out that window. Bunch of stuff out there. <laughs> Alright, so. We got some gold nuggets from that Meowth. I don't really think I can use those for anything. Flaffy. There's a jungle over there as well. This plains biome is decently large, I think, so I'm probably just going to stay in the plains for now. There's a Pidgey. Let's send out... I'm kind of neglecting Aqua because I just caught some awesome new Pokemon. Let's go into Aqua and then go back out into Pikachu. Pikachu can handle all this early game stuff really well. Thundershock? I doubt we're much faster, so Electro Ball is probably not going to be that good. Did we miss Thundershock? <laughs> Apparently use sand attack on us or something. Yeah, it keeps using sand attack. Don't like that. We haven't hit an attack at all. There we go. Alright, Aqua grows to level 12. Right there with Sheldon. So that's pretty good. Now, there aren't that many good early game Pokemon that I can catch in the plains. So I'm not quite sure if I want to catch anything. I guess I forgot about that Drifloon. I kind of want to go look at that. Oh, there's a Spearow though. We might as well kill that really quick. Go Aqua. And tackle. Aqua should be able to take this thing on no problem by itself. Alright, goodbye Spearow. The planes keep going that way as well, so there's a lot of area to explore. Also looking out for an enormous Magikarp. That one looks like it could possibly be. I kind of want to catch it and check. Come on, Magikarp. Just give up. No point in living out here. You suck either way. But if you come with me, you will get to evolve eventually. Cool. So here's our Magikarp. It is a giant. So, nope. I want to wait until I find either an enormous or a pygmy 
Magikarp before I start training a Magikarp up. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. I got rid of the one I caught in episode 3 as well. I have no problem waiting. There's a Raticate and an Electabuzz. I don't know if I can quite fight those yet. Is there a PC in here? Yes, there is. Yeah, let's just get rid of the Magikarp. You suck. Goodbye, Magikarp. Hmm. This isn't the best place to train, actually. There are actually some pretty high-level Pokemon out here. I could go to Extreme Hills, I guess, and see if I could find a Cyndaquil or a Charmander. That might be pretty cool. Farfetch'd. Doduos aren't usually too high level. Yeah, let's send out Aqua against this Doduo. Then go into Pikachu. Hopefully it won't kill me. That's going to make this a lot harder. Nice. Please be faster, Pikachu. There you go. Alright, so uh, Sheldon can maybe finish this off. Hit it with a Supersonic. And just tackle it till it dies. Sheldon's probably pretty close to learning a decent move. Just having tackle kind of sucks. <laughs> Ooh, Icicle Spear, there we go. It did learn Icicle Spear, right? Yeah, nice. So Sheldon has uh, Icicle Spear now. That's a good move. There's another forest right here. What is that? Butterfree. All right, I think I'm gonna head back. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to try the Brock gym leader battle already, but <laughs> uh, Sheldon's really my only Pokemon that can hit it, so they can hit Onix or Geodude, so that probably wouldn't go too well. Let's keep training up a little longer. Fight me, Mareep. Eevee learned Quick Attack, that's good. Come on, Eevee. Just a little sheep, you can handle it. Nice, level 14 for Eevee, so. Gaining a lot of levels. There's another Doduo. We might be able to handle that. Level 24, though. <laughs> That's not gonna happen without Pikachu. Whoa, is that a Krabby or a Kingler? I've never seen those spawn on here before. It's a Kingler? Wow, cool. I think that's the first Kingler I've ever seen on this mod. And it's fighting a Drifloon and losing for some reason. <laughs> Are you losing to a Drifloon? Nidoran female, Lapras. I'm finding Laprases all over the place. I definitely want to get one of those as soon as I have Pokemon leveled up enough. Wow, Rattata. It's a red boss. Um, I doubt Sheldon and Eevee can handle that on their own, but I don't want it to, to despawn if I run back and heal. Stay right there, Rattata. Stay right there. I will be right back. <laughs> I just need to heal up really quick and run right back over there. And not let any wild Pokemon attack me before then. Okay, heal up. Come on. I don't know if I can defeat it even if I have Pikachu, but it'll give me a better chance. And all of Rattata's attacks are physical, so I want to start off with Shelter and see if I can confuse it. Assuming it's still there, which I wouldn't count on. Pokemon despawn quite rapidly on this mod. If you step, like, out of their range, they are gone. Yeah, I don't see any Rattatas. There was an entire group standing right here. Huh, that sucks. I really didn't get very far away. They were right here. That's within my render distance, so it's kind of weird that they would despawn so fast. But I guess that's what happened. Huh. Well, whatever. I had to try it. If I attacked them with... Aqua and Sheldon, there was no way. 
Had to have Pikachu for that. I'm gonna search around the plains for another boss Pokemon, so... Yeah, you just wait right there for one second, and hopefully I will have found one. Well, all my Pokemon are dead, and I don't really know where I am, so... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna kill myself. Yeah. A bunch of wild Pokemon kept attacking me and killing all of my Pokemon, so... Yeah. This is what it's come to. I'm gonna look on the islands over by our house and see if I can find a boss shelter. It's about time we find one of those, and Pikachu can completely destroy those. Oh yeah, I'm on peaceful. This is probably gonna take forever. <laughs> it looks like it's killing me. Kinda slowly, but it, it is. Come on, water. Oh yeah, I dropped all my stuff. I don't know where that was at. That was really dumb. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. Whoa! Alright. Uh, well, this is such a tease. I can't do anything to this. <laughs> I don't have any Pokeballs, and I don't have any Pokemon. And it attacked me. Well. This is... This is the best. <laughs> what can I do to this? Uh, Sheldon, see if you can confuse it. I used fly. Pikachu, take this hit for Sheldon. Great. Uh, it probably doesn't have any attacks that don't kill me. And it just keeps using fly. And yeah, Outrage will do it. So, once again, <laughs> my Pokemon are all dead. That's kind of cool to see a Rayquaza, though. Just let this be foreshadowing. One day we will capture one of you. But today is not that day. And if you wonder why I'm out here in the first place, I am trying to find my stuff because I killed myself like an idiot. And I don't remember where my stuff was. <laughs> and I need it back. So I'm going to keep looking. It's out here somewhere. I wish I could catch all this cool stuff. That looks like maybe an enormous Lapras. And my, my Rayquaza is probably gone now. Ah, One day. Well, here's a level 15 Krabby. I like that noise. And I like Krabbies. So, I think I'm going to try to catch this thing. All of my Pokemon are dead once again. Thank you, Rayquaza. So, I can't hurt it. I can only... I can really only throw Pokeballs at it, but it's only level 15, so I don't think that should be that hard. Come on, Krabby. You need to come with us. I could use a good water type. Because Sheldon's mostly going to be an ice type. You can probably help against Brock. Come on. Yeah, caught a Krabby. Nice. Alright, well, this episode isn't a total loss, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> so... Basically all that's happened in this episode is I found a red boss and it despawned on me immediately and because I didn't have any Pokemon to fight it with and I wanted to heal them. Then I find a Rayquaza, the first wild one I've ever seen and of course I don't have any good Pokemon to fight it or any Pokeballs with me at the time to even try to catch it. Ugh. So yeah, at least I got a Krabby out of all this. That's good. It's the first time I've even seen wild Krabbies and Kinglers in this episode. I haven't spent enough time around oceans and beaches, I suppose. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to call that an episode, guys, but... Uh, at least we got a Krabby out of it. So, in the comments below, vote for what you would like Krabby's name to be. I love his sound effects, that's pretty awesome. What size are you? Small. Cool. And I like his little... Grippy claw thing. So yeah, guys. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. At the start of the next episode, I am going to... 
update Pikachu's name, I'm going to update Krabby's name, and I'm going to tell you what evolution we will be evolving Eevee into, and maybe start looking for what we need to do with those. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Aquaplace Pixelmon, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.